Hi everybody! Today we are going to make a batch of sparkle box soap and this is going to be a large batch. I've actually already made it. It's here. And I made five loaves of this. So this one is a blend of orange oil with amber and vanilla and some musks and it's quite a complex scent but it's um, one that I've been making for quite a long time and I haven't made the soap since I think it was September or October last year so it's been out of stock for some time so I decided to make a big batch so if you want to see how it's made stay tuned we're going to be using some cocoa powder a couple of different micas and some titanium dioxide for colours and this one does have a tendency to move a bit fast so you'll see the process anyway but yeah it's come out it's come out nice so um yeah, we'll show you the process and then we'll get to the end so you can see the cut. Okay. Okay, so just going to stick blend the base. It's a bit chopped off, sorry, but um, that's as much as I can show you. Okay, so I've got a very light emulsification stage there. So I'm just going to pour off out of the big pot into a small one because it's too heavy to lift for too long otherwise. So as you can see it's quite liquidy but we want it like that so that I don't have this thicken up on me. So we'll probably just have to do this a few times. So that one is golden shimmer I think it's called. I won't mix them yet, I'll just pour this in just so we've got our soap separated off. So with this soap I keep the base neutral and it goes darker anyway. Okay, so lightest colour, well, lightest colour is white, but I don't want to stick blend that, just in case. So I'm just going to stick blend the yellow. In fact, pop them all to the side because I don't want them just yet because I want to pour my base first. Okay, so fragrance into the base. So this does end up discolouring slightly, but it's not, not too bad. Making sure I get to look very light trays, that's all. control with the bowl. <laughs> so I'm going to start, make sure you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to start pouring the base in. 
to each one. And then about almost halfway. You can see. to that in a sec. So first colour we'll go for pink and a little bit of fragrance. And then start to pour these Starting to thicken already, so I will have to be pretty fast at getting this soap made. Okay, then cocoa powder. to yellow. <laughs> Start on the other end first because it's a bit lower than the rest. You know, last time I made this I did a slab mould, it's so much easier than doing these but like I said before I like to be able to cut these, okay so the end one's going to have a bit more white than the rest. Try and get a chopstick through. 
kind of. And to do the tops, what I'll do, see that it's really thick, what I'll do on the tops is just use up any batter I've got just to get the tops higher. And then I use a um, mica in oil just to do a splatter on the top because this one's always tricky, this soap. It's always so much easier to use a slab mold to make it, but there you go. It just get a bit messy. Okay. Yeah, messy, messy, messy soap. <laughs> but when it's ready, it's it looks really good. It just uh, doesn't look that great at the moment. I'll bring you in a bit closer in a second, just so you can see the globules going on the top. I'm trying to change my gloves. Okay, so any leftovers then? I got you can sort of be splattered over the top. So messy, messy soap to make. very quickly but it's um it's one of those soaps that accelerates on me but it's manageable until it gets to this stage and then it's like you can't overdo it otherwise you'll just make a mockery of the whole thing so it actually benefits from looking scruffy if you see what I mean rather than trying to make it look perfect that's my excuse <laughs> But um, no, it's like it just looks really sort of rustic and and I just love the way that it does actually end up looking in the end. Like little pools of different colours and different areas. Like I kind of like it, you know. I used to make this soap years ago called um, the Dead Marshes, based on Lord of the Rings, and I used to do the same with that one. I used to make all these sort of ridges in it and then just pour different coloured soaps into the top and let it thicken and do its own thing and it used to just look really good in the end but it, it looked really hideous when I was making it but then at the end it just yeah it just used to look really good so I got used to the way this behaves so I know what to expect but it still kind of stresses me a little bit but It's still a good soap and it sells like hotcakes when it's ready. It always, always sells. People love this fragrance. It's really nice. It's a very nice amber with uh, orange oil and vanilla. But it's a really nice sort of, um, not that horrible fake vanilla, but more of a perfumey vanilla. And it, it's got all sorts going on in it, actually. But musky and... Just, just, just good, really good. Just make sure I use up all the bits that are runny and then the mica at the end can sit on the top of these nice runny portions so it can settle into those bits rather than sit on the top and make a mess. So there's a couple here where it's a bit higher than I wanted just mess with it a bit. So, just going to take some of that and just splatter it over the tops. Hence the name Sparkle Box. It just looks really pretty. If you go back through my Instagram feed, you might find the last one that I made and it was in a slab mould. And it looks really, really lovely in the picture. But I did yeah, a different cut on it. It was a taller 
and slightly wider bar like the ones I used to cut on my single wire cutter. So I put quite a bit of this on that will sink into the soap butter. You can see it gelling underneath already. Okay, so that is sparkle box made. It's a bit messy here, I can tidy that up off camera. But um, I'll be back tomorrow to cut that one and see what it came out like. Okay, okay. ta ta. Hello. Ready to cut then from yesterday. So it's Friday. Yay. <laughs> Not that the days make any difference right now. But it's still nice that it's Friday and the weekend is here and we get to do whatever we want. <laughs> Again. Again. Let's see what we got. Oh yeah. See the end in there. So it should still have quite a nice swirl, even though it thickened. I did kind of manage to get the chopstick through it. It wasn't too bad. So, there you go. It's quite pretty, I suppose. <laughs> there. So I'm up here this morning just to cut this and then we've got to go home because I ordered paper yesterday from Staples because I mentioned that Tesco's was just way too busy to be queuing up outside. So I ordered it from Staples and they've shipped it already and it's coming today with TNT but they don't give you a time slot. So I'm guessing most deliveries get to me by sort of midday-ish or something like that or just after sort of lunchtime depending on which courier but most of them seem to get to my area at home by yeah about like between 1 and 2 p.m so i'm guessing i'm pretty safe i have left a note on the door to leave it in the alleyway with a neighbor like well not with the neighbor but in their alleyway if i'm not there so i can't be too long here I just got to get this cut and then we can go back and then I shall be uploading videos today and I'm going to be doing my accounts today. I need to catch up on that because I've not done any of those for I think maybe a couple of weeks now or maybe a week or so. I did, I remember doing some here. Normally I take my laptop home and I do all my accounts at home just because it's easy to do on a Sunday morning usually is when I choose to do that. But, uh, yeah, we'll uh, go and do that today so I can get caught up. And I've got a tax return to do. Boo! <laughs> That's for, like, last year's, well, up until my, uh, March 31st, I've got to do my tax return for last year into this year. So that'll be wonderfully fun. It's never really that difficult because I keep all of my accounts on quick uh, on quickbooks so it already gives me my tax information so i just tap in the figures into the tax return online and then i pay whatever i'm due to pay but they give you like i'll be given until january next year to pay any tax that i owe but, um, the allowance here in the uk is about ten and a half thousand pounds before you pay tax so it's not too bad so we'll see how I've done I think I've done all right not amazing but I think it's all right and I think this following year well judging by the way things have gone the last few weeks then I would say that this year is going to be a bit better than last year which is what you want. You want to do better year on year. Some days, like some years I don't, some years I do worse. It just depends, but it all sits around a certain figure. And yeah, not a lot really changes because it's only me, you see? And I don't really want to expand massively with the business because I don't really want employees. <laughs> Unless I could just get them to do everything. But then that just would, no, that isn't what I want at all. I wouldn't want to not do this, you know, I wouldn't want to not work, 
I work less hours than I used to, but that's like when we got the dog, I did a lot less hours because I've got the dog to deal with with two walks a day and I don't like leaving her at home on her own for longer than four hours. So it, you know, I have to really sort of plan my day. So normally she might come with me here in the morning if I'm not making anything. And then I take her home for lunch and I eat, I eat lunch at home to save me buying things in the town. And then I come back and work till about five o'clock. So I do probably about 10 till five with a break in between to take the dog home. Those are my hours. So it normally works out about six hours a day. And I just pay myself what I can afford to pay myself. And yeah, it's getting better. It's getting better, it's getting better. But at the moment with the way things are, I don't want to make any silly mistakes, you know? Hopefully you can see this okay. Yeah, I don't want to um, pay myself over the odds when things are going, they are going okay, they're going good at the moment, but I don't want to, you know, pay myself more than I already do. I just want to see that money sitting in the bank so that I don't have to worry while this virus is doing the rounds and making its exit <laughs> is the most important thing, that it just goes away. Everybody just wants it to go away. <laughs> so here in the UK, we just had an announcement yesterday that we are in lockdown for a further three weeks which is you know it's fine I'd rather they didn't lift the lockdown prematurely and then everybody go and get sick again they made that mistake in 1918 when that last pandemic came and then there, there was a second wave of it which ooh, that's some nasty excuse my French you know what I was going to say there. But yeah, that's some evil stuff, isn't it? Anyway, I'm going to continue on and cut the rest of these and get these videos uploaded to my laptop and then I'm going to go home and edit them. So there'll be a video this evening when I made before. And I'll be back next week, hopefully with some more. I'll try and do a few in a row so that I can just schedule them in. It's a lot easier for me to do it that way. So. Take it easy. I'll see you soon. Ta-ta.